Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today this is my 200th video uploaded on YouTube. Woo! Party sounds, doo doo doo, air horns. <laughs> but not only that, but we're over 400 subscribers now, which is freaking awesome as well. I may have mentioned this in the last Inktober video, but I'm still just really pumped about it. And, uh,. It's just really cool, because again, like last year at this time, I was sitting at 100 subscribers, so almost up to 500, which is going to be mind-blowing to me that you guys even want to watch my videos that much. Um, I had planned to do like a special video for my 200th video, of, like one of my little animation things that I've done for like previous, like my 150th video, and then also like my little break video, but I just... <laughs> with Inktober and then a couple trades that I had to do on top of commissions and also working on Patreon stuff. I just, I did not have the time. <laughs> so I'm just announcing that, hey, it's the 200th video in the 200th video. Woo! Um, but yeah, so this trade, this picture is actually a trade with another artist that I have met through the, uh, the Unexpectables, which if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you may remember the speed paints I've done of those characters, but uh, he is another artist that also does like fan art and stuff for the players and whatnot. So it was, it's been really cool getting to know uh, like people from the fandom like that, and also getting to trade art with them. The uh, video that will go up after this uh, coming this Friday will be. Uh, also with another artist that's from the Unexpectables fandom, and yeah, I actually recorded that video first, but I realized that, uh, <laughs> one, whatever video came out today was gonna be my 100th live, or 200th live video, so I should probably at least say something about that and be like, woo, 200 videos, yeah! Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm making this one post before that one so I can say that. And also mention the 400 subscribers too. Also, when this goes up, it's still in October. Whenever this actually goes live. If you guys are watching this at a later date, sorry, this probably won't apply to then. But uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, um, you may have been seeing like my daily posts for Inktober and obviously all my videos here for Inktober. But I'm actually offering uh, to my $20 backers on Patreon Normally, from here on out, uh, after October, people will be getting sketches, like personal sketches for them, for 20 bucks on top of the uh, print and sticker for the month. But if you do $20 this month, you also, like, instead of that sketch, you get to pick from selected uh, Inktobers instead. So you'll get a bigger thing, and it'll be more detailed because it's ink instead of sketch. And it's also a cool way to support me. <laughs> But also, if you're not a backer, but you want to buy, like, the previous Inktober, or not Inktober, uh, previous Patreon, uh, like, prints or even stickers, I have them listed on my Etsy, which I should probably <laughs> put on my uh, YouTube page here. I'll make sure to do that for this video. But, uh, so yeah, like, for this month's, uh, technically it's for last month, but it's uh, the print that came out this month. It's a little witch cat and a little bat, and also a bat sticker, so those are up for like Halloween time and stuff. And I do try and ship those out pretty close, so if you wanted to get it before Halloween, you might be able to. This is coming out on the, what is it, the 24th? Yeah, this should be coming out on the 24th. So yeah, you should get it. If you're inside the United States, if you ordered today, you would have that stuff by then, but... I mean, it's just a cute little cat, witch, and a bat, so it doesn't really just have to be, <laughs> you know, for this month. But also, like, uh, this coming month's Patreon stuff has already been chosen, so I actually just need to finish that, because after this video, I'll be having the uh, trade with the other Unexpectables fan art person as well come out, and then the final video for this month, which is, will be on the 21st, will actually be a flip through and discussion of my Inktobers with my husband helping as well. <laughs> and we're gonna have him go through and like uh, try and discuss prompts and like see if he knew what the prompt was and 
Uh, I don't think he will because most of the prompts for the Jake Parker ones are very descriptive words and that's it and not like, draw a cat, draw a bat, things like that. So <laughs> we'll see if he actually gets them. There's a few that he might, but I don't feel like a lot of them he will. But we'll see. <laughs> It'll be interesting to go through that with him and see what he thinks. And uh, I seem to have very positive feedback. Uh, I don't get a lot of comments here on YouTube, which I don't know. I'd really like to get you guys interacting more. I don't know how how could I do that? Should I art? Should I start asking you guys questions? Like, uh, did you do Inktober this year? And if you did, do you feel like you succeeded? Uh, yeah. Let me know down below. Did you do Inktober this year? Did you feel like you succeeded? I feel like if you tried at all, you succeeded, so don't get down on yourself if for some reason you had to stop. Life does get in the way sometimes, and sometimes you just aren't feeling it. Just try again next year, or, you know, set up a different goal. Maybe instead of finishing all 31 days, you finish 10 days. And you just pick out your 10 favorite prompts and just do those. But yeah. Let me know down below, guys. I'd actually like to know, because uh, this year I feel like I've done a lot better with Inktober, and I feel like I've gotten better <laughs> with my supplies, even. And, uh, yeah. So I'd be interested to hear if you guys have or not. I know I have a lot of uh, non-artists that follow me because of, like, I've posted on Twitter and stuff, and so people that commission me that don't draw themselves also follow me. But I really don't know how many other artists follow me, so I'd love to hear about that. See if you guys actually, like, how many people actually make it, especially this far in a video. It's six minutes in of just me painting and sketching, so I don't know. I don't know what you guys want for me to do. I don't know. <laughs> I always feel awkward doing voiceovers and stuff, so I don't know. Um, if you guys like my voiceovers, let me know. I've been trying it this past month because it seemed to be an indication on my, like, viewing things that you guys liked the voiceovers more than you did just music, which, I mean, I guess makes sense. But, uh, yeah. So, so many questions, yeah. So, if you like my voiceovers, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Maybe I'll start doing, like, one, you know, like, switching off or something. And, uh, yeah. I guess besides that, how are you guys doing? Is October treating you well? Are you guys looking forward to Halloween? I don't really do Halloween. Just because I've, I don't know, I don't want to say it's because I'm older, but I've never really been, like, a super big Halloween person. I know that's so weird in this day and age, but, like, I really love autumn and fall. Just, I know they're the same thing. But, uh, it's my favorite time of the year anyways, so I kind of just like this season better than just one holiday, so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just finally happy that I'm, like, I'm sitting here in long sleeve shirt being able to record instead of having to be here in shorts and a t-shirt, so. It's finally getting cool! But yeah. I really, with this picture, liked how the quilting on the jacket and stuff turned out and also like the shine on the metal and trying to make the metal look like a little dented on the helmet and stuff and I feel like that really like I pulled it off pretty well but uh there's something about the quilting that I didn't like in the end but I couldn't put my finger on it but it still looked fine the thing I was most disappointed with was the f uh, face from moving from the sketch to the finished picture because I just really love this face and the sketch and I just it didn't turn out the same which sometimes that happens and uh, I just have to get over it <laughs> I wish I didn't but uh yeah it still turned out good and Jack liked it so that's important did I mention in here that this was by the art like this was a trade with Art Jack because I want to say I did, but I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. I'll have Jack linked down below so you guys can all check his art out. Because what he did for me was really awesome as well. Uh, he drew my character Mac, which uh, Citric King, who's the person I also did a trade with, um, also drew for me. So, yeah. They're both very cool guys. And in both of those respective videos, I'll have them linked and everything like that. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this picture and didn't mind me plugging my Patreon too much. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you guys enjoy the next video and the last Inktober video for the month as well. And then on into November. I'll see you guys there. Bye.